Hi, this is Jason Collins, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 3D printer by one of my favorite companies. This is the model A10M, M being multi-filament, which means it'll print two colors at one time. And this is by a company that I've been doing business with for about a year now, and that company is called G-Tech, G-E-E-E-T-E-C-H, and they're a Chinese company. I actually have gotten four printers from G-Tech. The first one was a Prusa i3W, and that was an awesome printer. In fact, I just recently donated that printer to our local high school art department. The second one I got was their model E180, which is a small footprint desktop printer. If you're just thinking about getting into 3D printing, you're not sure what you want to do, that's an excellent, excellent printer to start out with because it's small. The menus and stuff are very intuitive. It's very user-friendly. And also one of the awesome features in it is the, the print nozzle and the hot end, the heating element part, are all built into one module. So if you run into a clog or a problem with that, and maybe you're not that mechanically inclined to disassemble a hot end, or maybe some of the, the mechanical aspects of 3D printing have been something that, that has caused you to shy away from it, the E180 is awesome because you just pop out the old heating element and nozzle, throw it away, pop a new one in, and you're ready to go. The third printer that I got is a massive giant arm D200, which is a great printer. But today we have the model A10M, and we're going to take a look at what's inside the box. I've not even opened this, so you guys are going to be the first along with me to see what's inside the box. So let's take a look. So here we go. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Well packaged, everything from GTEC that I've received so far has been very well packaged. Um, it has a quick start guide. These quick start guides can be a bit generic. I'll flip this one around so maybe you can see. But this one does seem to be specific to the M model multi-filament printer. Lists everything that's supposed to be in the box. We'll go over that in just a moment. And then a quick start guide. And most importantly, they have information at the bottom on how you can contact GTEC support. And honestly, guys, with the support community that's available online, especially on Facebook, um, I've been totally happy with the customer support, product support, all the people that I've dealt with with GTEC have been, have been awesome people to deal with. So anyway, let's take a look at what we've got here. Obviously, we've got two And these are stepper motors. And these are, let's see here, uh, 629, 2018. So they're, so they're super fresh motors. And um, we seem to have dropped a screw and a washer. I don't know where that was supposed to go. We'll get that in just a moment. And another, uh, I see what happened. And that goes on this side that obviously vibrated loose in shipping. Pop that right back in there. I always love unboxing videos that are raw and just open the box and show me what's in it. I think a lot of times unboxing videos on Amazon and YouTube and stuff maybe staged because everything seems to go too smoothly. When you open up a box for the first time, stuff's going to be flopping around, and this is a perfect example. But you got two extruder motors, fresh stepper motors on those. We'll open this one and see if we can catch the pieces parts before they before they fall out. There's one. There we go. It's got the it's got the lock washer on it already. We'll pop those in there cuz we're going to definitely need those later. For the dual extruder motors. All right. Snug that up a little bit. We're good there. There we go. How cool is that? Two extruder motors. We're going to be printing in multiple colors. Hey, you know, I was watching some videos that were shared on one of the 3D printing groups on Facebook a couple days ago, and a guy was showing how he got green printing, he actually wound up able to print in three colors because he put 
yellow and blue filament in his A10M, and then he was able to mix those 50-50 and get blue, yellow, and green as a final as a final product. Awesome. Got the got the bed. And I print on I print on glass with hairspray. So this is not a huge deal for me, but I know a lot of people who really like these these bill plates that are designed to print directly on the plate. I just got used to printing with hairspray and glass and I never really got into using the bill plate, but if you're into that kind of thing, obviously GTEC super plate, nice check nice texture so your prints so your prints in here. This whole thing is already pre-assembled, which is awesome. Oh, 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 and let me check this out. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to get this a little better in post if you can't see. I'll flip it over. Maybe that'll be better. Awesome, big, gigantic knobs for doing your bed leveling. One of the first things that I found and printed on Thingiverse was knobs to, to level the bed. The first printer I got was an open builds printer that a guy had print, had built and then I bought it from him later on and it had a little tiny knob so I had to print bigger knobs so I could do my bed leveling. GTEC has already put some awesome humongous great easy to grip knobs on there that's great. Everything on here looks good. Some good square um, maker tubes. Awesome. Let's see what we've got inside. Let's see what we got. Do we have anything over here? Oh yeah. There we go. G with an extra e tech A10M. That's awesome. And then we have some Chinese stuff down here, which probably says Jason is awesome. I'm not sure about that. I don't speak Chinese, but if I were going to put something on there, that's what I would put. Digging deeper, deeper into the box, we have the gantry. Let's see here. Gantry and the upright frame. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Bogan tubes go down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's the hot end. Lead screw. Nice and straight. I don't know if you can see that, but awesome. Straight lead screw. Looking good. Another fresh stepper motor on there. Awesome. And then we've got the power supply and main board for the unit, all already assembled. This unit, really, I can't imagine that it's going to take more than about 45 minutes to get it put together because it's already almost completely assembled. And then you've got your bag here. Let's go in, down our checklist and see what, we've, see what we've got so far. I'll flip this around so you guys can see. The upper gantry kit, we just took that out. Um, the bottom gantry kit with the bill plate, we've got that out. Um, the power supply unit, we've got that out. The LCD, we've got that out. And then everything else should actually be in this bag. Oh, and another awesome GTEC mouse pad. I don't use them. I didn't use the first one. I don't use mouse pads. I wonder if anybody really does anymore. Um, but it's cool that they put that in there. Um, Obviously, a power cord. It's right here. So let's see what we've got in the bag. <laughs> what do we have in the bag? The next thing on the list is SD card. There we have one gig SD card. Plenty. In fact, I haven't filled up the first SD card I've got. A couple of replacement Bogan tubes for your for your filament. And that's that right there. Oh no, that's zip ties. Uh, they don't have the tubes on there. Bonus. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, and amazingly, and, and you guys know I didn't know this, but you got blue and yellow sample filaments, so you'll be able to do that green test thing that I was talking about. That'll be awesome. Now, the one thing I will say about the sample filament is it's obviously not sealed in an airtight bag. For those of you who are new to 3D printing, I live in Mississippi, and the humidity here can just be absolutely off the chart insane, like it's not unusual for us to have days where the humidity is over 95%. That will really make getting quality prints 
difficult, if not impossible. So what I do is I toss the filament into an old food dehydrator that I have just for overnight or four or five hours before I get ready to print. Dries it up, works really, really nicely. Um, awesome extra USB cable, that's right there. Let's see what else we've got here. That is going to be the cap to go on the top of the gantry, would be my guess. Okay, here we've got the filament spools. Oh, there are those awesome zip ties that we mentioned earlier. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Not sure on that yet. Miscellaneous metal brackets. I think those are probably going to be the brackets for the filament holder. And then, and this, oh, and these lock those down. Okay, this is all beginning to make sense now. Here's some screws, goes right there with that. Here are some longer screws, goes right here with that. Here is a, another pack of screws. Okay, and a tool bag, which is wrenches to put all this together, some um, some Allen wrenches to tighten things up with, and then a, and this is really awesome, I use this quite often, is, and this one actually has two. One is a little tiny one, and one is a, a larger to, to go down in and to clean filament clogs out, so you if you have a clog and it's blocked your nozzle, you heat it up and you push this down in there and try to force it out. And normally that will, the big one is normally all you need, but if you if you have a, a more stubborn clog, you can take the little one and poke and get a little get a little pinhole through it and then it makes it easier to get the clogs out. So that's that's an awesome tool to have around. You can never have too many of those around. And then also you get an extra nozzle. I'm a little surprised because I would have assumed that since it was a dual that we might get two of those, but we just get one nozzle, which it all goes through one nozzle, so that makes sense. And it doesn't say anything, but I'm assuming it's probably a .04, which is usually what, what comes with these. So anyway, here we go. That was the, that was the unboxing of the G-Tech, G-E-E-Tech. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if it's G-Tech or G-Tech. I don't really know. Maybe someone can maybe someone can correct me on that. So there we go. That is the G-Tech A10M multi-filament, multi-color 3D printer. Now, I, I'll be posting a video in a couple of days of putting all this together. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do that right now, but you'll get a video of this being assembled, and then I'll also go through a video of getting it set up, bed leveling, getting the right settings and stuff like that. But anyway, this was the unboxing. If you're looking for a 3D printer, GTEC, they've been awesome to me. That's why I keep getting their products. I can't recommend them highly enough. Like I said, the customer support is awesome. The product quality is wonderful. If you're looking for anything from an entry level, like I said, the E180s are great. Their Prusa clones are great. Um, or you can get a cool multi-filament, multi-color printer from them. All really, really great prices. And like I said, the customer support's been awesome. Hey, guys, this is Jason Collins. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.